Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So I have the Haki Time Pro True Wireless Earbuds in front of me. They are the successor to last year's popular Haki Time series headphones. In this video, let's unbox them, check out the quality, the fit and all the extra features along with sound test. Now obviously, I cannot make you listen to the sound quality, so I picked a few popular songs and I will mention what I'm looking for in each of the songs so you can follow along. And obviously, I will compare the sound quality to the other hugely popular wireless earbuds, the AirPods Gen 2, which is my daily driver. So let's get on with the video. First, let's unbox this decent packaging along with the orange handle, which has Haki's branding on them. Straight, we have the earbuds case, but let's come back to that in a minute. Let's see what else is in the box. We have the manual, then the standard USB to USB-C charging cable and small and large ear tips. The medium ones should already be installed to the earbuds. Let's get to the case. First impressions of touching the case, it feels light, but that premium feel is definitely there. There is a charge light indication on the front along with USB-C port for charging and at the back we have the button for pairing and checking the battery level. Now let's open the lid and hear that click. Okay, that feels nice, it feels premium and is as satisfying as the AirPods. The case has got this nice grey finish and here it is in comparison with AirPods Gen 2. The case definitely is more along the dimensions of the AirPods Pro. Now, the case also supports wireless charging. So if you have a Qi compatible wireless charger, then it will perfectly charge your earbuds. Now, let's check the earbuds themselves. The design is kind of a remix of standard AirPods and AirPods Pro. The flat bit along the side with the Haki logo is touch sensitive and you can use that to control various functions of the earbuds. And if I remove the ear tip, you can see that it's got that stem which isn't long, so it shouldn't create that complete vacuum seal in your ear. But let's test that out. So time to do the fit test. And yes, like I expected, they fit in very nicely. Better than AirPods. See, with AirPods, I always have the feeling that they will slip out of my ear. But not this one. It is creating a seal inside the ear because of that ear caps obviously but it is definitely comfortable now before we head over to sound test let's look at the specs the Haki time pro are true wireless earbuds with the charging case which supports wireless charging as well they support bluetooth 5.2 and have both active noise cancellation and ambient mode they pack in six microphones three in each earbud and also have a low latency gaming mode the battery life on the earbuds is up to 7 hours with the case storing additional 23 hours of charge. And with active noise cancellation on, it is 6 hours in the earbuds plus 18 hours via the charging case. It's got IPX5 level waterproofing and costs $95 at the time of reviewing which is their special Christmas discount pricing. You can also get 15% off if you're a first time customer. So you got decent savings on here guys. Now, seriously impressive specs for the price point, but everything certainly depends on the sound quality. So let's test it out. Let me pair it with my iPhone 13 Pro Max and it says that as soon as I open the lid, it should be in pairing mode for the first time and it is instant. That Bluetooth 5.2 is really efficient. So here goes the first test. Let me try to pick some song and play it. And okay wow that sound quality is really good i can straight away feel that bass it's very well defined see guys i'm not an audiophile but i really do appreciate a good sounding pair of headphones now they do not get very loud and they definitely have got a bit more bass than my airpods gen 2 but the sound is clear see the lows mids and highs are well maintained i am actually impressed now, 
Time for the full test and comparison with the AirPods Gen 2, my daily driver. I have sorted out a few popular tracks and I will tell you what I'm looking for in each track so you can get the feel for how these sound. First is Michael Jackson's Jam from Dangerous. That breaking of glass when the song starts. On the AirPods, I know how it sounds, but listening it back to back on the Haki Time Pro, I can definitely tell the difference, guys. It's much more cleaner, it's much more well-defined, and it is not as jarring. Next, The Nights by Avishi. You would have heard this song, especially on social media. What I'm looking for is that chorus, which says, one day you leave the world behind. See, usually with chorus and heavy music, headphones tend to get a bit jarring. But again, not these ones. They're very well composed. Even if I put the volume to the higher end, it is still very composed. There is no noise or it doesn't get too jarring, which the AirPods tend to do, you know, for the same song. Next, let's choose Rhythm Divine by Enrique. Now, this song has got very smooth treble. And again, the Time Pro, it sounds really, really decent. Now, guys, I'm seriously impressed. The Time Pro sound is far superior. They don't get very loud. The AirPods definitely do get louder. But at that every level, the Time Pro maintains its composure. The lows, mids and highs, it's very well defined. Nothing gets out of hand or sounds jarring. Everything is perfect and the bass is prominent, but at the same time, it's not overbearing. Now, usually with the AirPods, I actually choose jazz as the EQ because that kind of softens everything a little. But for the test, I have to turn it off on both of them. And all the songs which I have heard till now, if I had to choose, I would listen to them on the Time Pro than the AirPods Gen 2. And guys, this is coming from me, a huge fan of Apple products and AirPods. You can check my channel. And no, Haki Time Pro are not paying me to say this. I told them that this review will be honest. And what can I say? In my test, if you ask me to choose a pair of earbuds, I would pick the Time Pro. Now, unlike the AirPods, the Haki Pro's feature list doesn't just end there. You also get active noise cancellation as well. Now, I've tried this with putting the volume at mid-range with general sounds like running water, hair dryer, and simulated sounds like AirPod cabin and rain. The Time Pro did a decent job of cancelling those. And then the ambient mode worked fine as well. If you're not blasting the sound on max, you can be aware of what's going around you. The game mode is neat as well. The response rate was very fast and I noticed no lag whilst playing games. Control-wise, the flat surface on both the earbuds act as the touch sensitive button. So tap once on either buds to play and pause your soundtracks. Hold on the right one a little longer to skip to the next track or on the left one to go back. Triple tap to invoke the voice assistant. Then double tap on the right enables ANC and double tap again to enable the ambient mode. On the left earbud, double tap toggles between music and that low latency gaming mode. Now there are three microphones in each earbud and the call quality is pretty awesome. So in conclusion guys, the Time Pros for 95 bucks are pretty decent and then you can get that 15% discount on top as well. The sound quality is awesome both as standalone earbuds and even in comparison with the standard AirPods. Plus you get active noise cancellation, ambient and gaming boards and you get the wireless charging case as well. And this design is perfect. So this earbud combined with the included ear tips should fit most ear types. Now I'll have to cover the negatives as well to keep this review fair. So first, there is no multi-device support like the AirPods. So if you want to switch them in between devices, then you need to go through the pairing process again. Then I did notice lag in connection between two wireless earbuds more than once in my testing stage, I found only one earbud connected, even though both are firmly planted in my ears. However, just putting them back in the case and reopening them fixed it. And then there is no app to control the EQ or even to know how much battery is left. Hitting the button shows green or orange, and that's how you judge how much battery there is. But if they had an app, that would have been amazing. So that's it, guys amazing earbuds with very, very decent sound quality and all that additional features for a very compelling price. 
I am actually surprised on how well they held up in comparison to the standard AirPods. I know it's a tough decision at the moment because the AirPods are on sale for about $100 and this costs $95, but yeah, you can get that 15% discount as well if you're a first time customer on Haki's website. I'll leave all that links in the description box below, but yeah, you have to decide between these two. The AirPods on the other hand have got that multi device support and it integrates very well with Apple ecosystem. Whereas the Time Pros, you get all that additional features. And the most important thing is they sound way much better. So that's it for the video guys. Do let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And whilst you're there, if you like my video, please hit that like button and the subscribe button is just a few pixels away. Please hit that and support me and I'll continue making these videos for you. As always, thanks a lot for watching until the end. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.